Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be another really fun video. You can see I've got my Ruger American Ranch in 450 Bushmaster out. And today we're shooting some black butterfly tomahawks. If that'll focus there. These tomahawks from black butterfly are using 250 grain maker bullets. You can get a good shot of those there. So, some really nasty 450 Bushmaster rounds. It's always fun shooting the big bore rifles. I'm gonna try to catch one of these bullets expanded in one of these water jugs. Should be a whole lot of fun. With that nasty of a round in 450 Bushmaster, I don't think it's gonna go through more than, I, I don't know, I'm gonna guess four milk jugs. Cause that sucker is gonna expand so widely and dump a whole lot of energy. I'm gonna guess we're gonna catch it in the fourth milk jug. But let's line these up, make sure they're perfectly straight, turn all the cameras on. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Here we go, loading up one of those 250 grain tomahawks. Let's see what we can do on these water jugs. I'm thinking that my shot was pretty straight and true there, but we're about to find out. Let's go check out what happened to the jugs here. One on the ground down there, another one on the table. Looks like this is number three right here. Hard to say what happened, but definitely destroyed it there. Looks like jug number four, we have a hit dead center there. And is there a hole coming out the back? Uh, there's a little bitty hole there. But did it puncture the fifth jug? Looks like it didn't. It just nicked it. So I'm thinking we should have a bullet in jug number four. Just like I guessed. But let's take a look here. Keep your fingers crossed. I hope the bullet's in here. Moment of truth. And I'm pretty sure I see a bullet down in there. Let's pour it out. These should have some absolute wicked expansion. Woo! Wow. So, there is what we caught. Look at how ridiculous that expanded. So, this is one of the sides. That is how wide that bullet expanded. That is pretty ridiculous. 250 grain bullet in 450 Bushmaster expanding that wide. I'm gonna have to go get the tape there. We lost one of the pedals there, but when you shoot this bullet, essentially you're shooting about an inch and a half to inch and three quarters projectile going down range once it expands. So that is ridiculous. Needless to say, massive, massive expansion in 450 Bushmaster using these bullets. I tell you what, we've already got the jug set up just for giggles. Let's shoot another one, see what happens, see if we can catch another one, see how good our luck is today. All right, so going for shot number two with this black butterfly ammo. If you look close, you can see the machining down the side of those bullets. If it'll focus, there we go a little better. There's little slits down the side of the bullet that way that this bullet is meant to expand into three different pedals. So let's do this second shot, see what happens. If we can catch one, we can surely catch another one. I don't know what happened, but I think we caught it. 
go take a look. When we took that shot, there were six jugs on the table. We'll see what's happening now. There are four jugs on the table. First one actually has one of those petals broke off in it. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And then the next jug, which would have been the fourth one, still has a hole in the center there, so we were good going down the middle. Did this one penetrate? Nope. So it looks like this one got caught in four jugs as well. Ooh, and look at that. That is ridiculous. So that bullet actually came out the back of the fourth jug. And I'm guessing it's hanging on by one of those pedals. See if we can grab it. Nope. So, for this one, actually all those pedals broke off. But, I'm wondering, are there any down inside the jug here? So, nope, nothing in there. So, that one, very similar story to the first shot. However, this time we were only able to get one of the pedals instead of two. Needless to say, those are some wicked, wicked expanding bullets there. You can see there on both of them, it's expanded out to about an inch and a half. That will cause some ridiculous amount of damage, whether you're using your 450 on whitetail or mule deer or hogs, what have you. Definitely, definitely packing a huge punch and dumping tons of power into the target. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. It's always fun shooting the big bull rifles, especially when we have some cool ammo like that. A big thanks to Black Butterfly Ammunition for making such cool ammo. Also, a big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors for all your support. Everybody go check out their channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out all the links in the description down below. Stay tuned for future videos. We've got a video coming out every single day. Thanks, guys. Hootie Hoo!